School board meetings across Central Florida getting rowdy again. The cowards! The cowards! Passions flaring over masks in schools. Some people getting so out of control, deputies had to put them in cuffs and take them off to jail. Well, some meetings have gotten so out of hand that districts are now thinking or rethinking the way they change these meetings. Fox 35's Lara Greenberg joins us live tonight. So, Lara, what's being considered? Well, Luann and John, they're considering a lot of things. Of course, they have upped their security at these meetings, but Seminole is just one of several districts in the area that is now dissecting their policy on the public comment portion of those meetings where things get really out of control. <laughs> A man taken out of the Brevard School Board meeting last night in cuffs. You can argue, but we can't. You're not playing by your own rules. While a meeting in Flagler County is put on pause. In the last few weeks, school board meetings in Lake County. There will be no logical point that we will ever unmask our kids. That's right. And Orange. All getting out of control. It's crazy. I, I really, it's, I can't explain it. I don't understand it, honestly. I don't. I get it that people are passionate, but it has gotten kind of wild and out of hand. So much so that districts are now hiring extra security and making policy changes for the public comment portion of the meetings. Orange County School Board met yesterday, reworking the policy to say that in the event of any safety concerns, the board chair can end the public input period early. I think that, you know, it's not fair for, for our constituents to come here and not feel safety. Brevard and Seminole County Schools looking to make similar changes. We welcome all opinions, but at the same time, there is a a, a line that cannot be crossed in terms of being disrespectful or un, not following procedures. Good men are ready to do some bad things. Especially when it keeps happening. Lake County is shelling out between $30 and $50 per hour per extra officer now coming to the meetings. Brevard and Seminole also have additional security on hand these days. At the end of the day, whether it's the school district flipping the bill or, you know, the sheriff's office flipping the bill, that's taxpayer money. Those are officers that could be doing other things.